This is for someone who could smell the difference between real leather and a $10 strap from AliExpress. No offense to AliExpress, I love their service. But this review of the Nomad leather strap for the 42 millimeter Apple Watch is for those who are actually considering buying the official Apple leather strap, which retails for over $200. This at $200 is considered a bargain. Let's check it out. This is a really nice box, but it's what's inside that matters. From Nomad, this is the leather strap for the 42mm Apple Watch. It doesn't do much, but let me take up 2 minutes of your time anyways. When you spend over $150 on 2 pieces of leather, you take these dinky rubber ones off, have a cup of apple juice, then slide your sleek new ones right back on. The lugs are made of stainless steel and fit firmly like you'd expect a strap to. Looking closely, it's made of an unmodified or altered Italian leather, all held together with heavy duty two-tone stitching, as it's stated on the website. The eyes are reinforced to manage the stress, and the buckle is also made of stainless steel, which holds up against surface scratches better than stained steel. But what really matters is how it holds up, so here's what it looks like two weeks later. The leather has slowly started to show a patina, which basically means it's growing some fucking character. This strap is officially yours, because no other strap out there will look the same as yours. The thick leather holds its shape and strength when wearing it on your wrist. At first, the steel buckle felt like it was digging into my skin due to its sharp shape. Over time though, the leather did stretch and loosen up enough to personally fit my wrist perfectly, preventing any discomfort from the buckle. Since you do have to charge your watch every night though, the durability of the eyes are an important factor as you're constantly tugging, stretching, and bending the strap to remove it and put on your watch. And thankfully, it's held up nicely. I've yet to see any tearing or fraying on mine. The loops, though much thinner than the rest of the strap, also show some nice coloring, but again, no issues with durability. It's rated to fit wrist between 150 to 210 millimeters, so be sure to measure yourself before you wreck yourself by paying $150 for this. I usually fit somewhere between the third and fourth hole down, but because it does allow for some play over time, I can comfortably fit the third hole since the heart rate sensor reads better with a tighter fit. In regards to taking care of the leather, washing your hands is fine, but don't drown it in water or you'll fuck up the leather. Basically, don't try with it on you dirty the strap retails for 150 US. It comes in this black hardware and the silver hardware to match your Apple Watch, kind of. If you're shopping around eBay or looking for a third party knockoff of a leather strap, this isn't for you. But if you're planning on buying a first party Apple strap that retails for over $200, at under $200, this is a bargain and definitely worth consideration for the quality and just the thick, supple leather that it comes with. Well, that's it. If you like my view, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give a thumbs down, and do subscribe for future updates. I rest my uh, strap, uh, I guess.